Hi, I'm Monster 1970, and this is my Ferris ZTR IS 1000 with a 48 inch motor deck that I recently purchased. Let's take a look and see what features it has and what needs to be addressed or fixed on this mower. One of the first things I noticed with this mower is that I'm missing the dust caps and the bearings are going to need to be repacked because they've been getting water into them for a while. The wheels need greased also and these tires are losing air. These are a 13 by 5 by 6 tire so I'm going to need tubes for them. Independent suspension looks good on it as far as I can tell. Uh, the mower deck doesn't want to lower or raise any higher. I'm thinking it's probably something in, it's probably lack of maintenance. So I'm going to have to address that. As you can see there's a anti-scalping wheel missing here or a gauge wheel. The shield needs to be straightened out some. It's bent up from the previous owner. I'll have to take a look at the belts. The brake works. It's a little stiff. Probably needs lubricated also. Uh, you have your PTO. Engage, disengage here. You have your throttle. Dual tanks. Uh, you have your valve here to switch in between tanks. Choke. The hour meter says 320 hours, but I've been told that that does not work anymore, so I'm going to have to look into another hour meter. Here's where your hydraulic fluid goes. Oops. That is a little low. Rear tires still have good tread on them. The oil. Very dirty. It's going to need changed. Going to need a new oil filter. Spark plugs, I'm going to take a look at them quick, see what they look like. Battery looks good. I don't know when the hydraulic filter was replaced. We may have to replace that. Oh, it looks like someone broke the fan on this hydraulic pump. I'm going to have to get a new fan for it. Without that, that thing's going to overheat. I'm surprised it hasn't overheated already. Who knows how long it was run like that. Belt from what I can see looks good. Traction drive belt looks pretty good. It's got two up on there. I mean the idler arm will probably need lubed. So I'll show you that it does start. There was some choke. Engine sounds pretty good. Let me check the spark plugs once. This is the one spark plug. See, it looks a little black. It's been running rich. Let me go and get the other one out. Okay, this is a spark plug out of the other cylinder. That's a little black also. I'm going to do a compression test. The left cylinder. Towards me. DPSI, that's not bad. Let's see what the compression is on this one. And that one's a little bit lower. And it's still functional. I'm going to take this cover off. Looks like there's four screws that hold it on. Okay, those are half inch bolts with nuts, washers. Should be able to just slide this cover off. 
pretty heavy. Let me move that out of the way. That's a good job. There he is. You see here, here's your height adjustment. Currently it's set at like two and three quarters of an inch. And then I take these covers off. Might be half inch. Bolts. Let's see. Yep, I'm gonna take them off. And there was another bolt in the back, I think. A bolt there, a bolt there, and a bolt there. I'm going to take this belt off. Yeah. That needs to be adjusted. That shouldn't spin like that, it should have drag. It's noisy. Not horrible. It's not horrible either. Hard to tell. I'll have to probably pull the motor deck off to check that one. These are nine sixteenths. Check the idlers. That was nice and smooth. That was nice, smooth. Belts look good. And lube on the bushing. But other than that, everything's good down here. Let's go take a look at the motor deck. This one. It's a little noisy. That one's pretty noisy. And that one's pretty noisy. That one's pretty noisy. That one's a little noisy too. Not bad, not horrible. You can see there's grease, grease fitting here. And it would be nice for grease fittings on the rest of these, but I think they stopped putting them on. Let's lift it up and look underneath and see what the motor deck looks like on the bottom. I also noticed that the belt is starting to break. So I'm going to have to get a new belt for it too. There are there's no grease fittings on here. Blades. Got some chunks out of them. Still sharpenable, and I might just replace them. But that's basically it. I know when I'm in, what I'm gonna have to do. So, next thing is to go and get some parts for it. Well, that'll do it.
for going over the, uh, what is it, IS-1000, Ferris, the Ferris IS-1000. I hope you like this video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and stay safe. Thanks for watching.